Hi there. I'm having a bad day. I'm having a really, really, really bad day. I mean, it just seems like nothing is going right. Did you ever have one of those days? Did you ever have a day where you just felt like it's all messed up and, and you just kind of wish you'd never gotten out of bed or you weren't even alive? You could just redo. You just press the rewind button and start the whole day afresh with the perspective of knowing what's going to happen so you can always avoid it. <clears throat> well, obviously we can't do that. But the truth is most people don't have bad days. I'm having a bad day is usually because of a bad event or even a series of bad events followed by a bad attitude. That bad attitude increases the likelihood that you'll walk into or create more bad events in your day, which, if you don't change your attitude, will just make it seem like your day is spiraling out of control. Instead of deciding that your day is bad, isolate those unpleasant events in your mind appropriately instead of using them to color the emotions of your day. Keep your attitude positive and remain determined that your day is a good one, despite certain negative events. Pull yourself out of mental tornadoes of emotions, and when that twister pulls you in again, and again, and again, just keep pulling out of it. With enough effort, and without blaming yourself for not getting out of it on the first try, you'll succeed. Breathe deeply and slowly, using mindfulness to regain your equilibrium whenever something knocks you for a loop. I see you, the one who doubts what I'm telling you. I see that you think it won't possibly work for you. As long as you have a defeatist attitude, you will always defeat yourself. But once you change your attitude to one of success, you'll see things turn around. The truth is that you are most likely the cause of your problems. You may not believe me, but I was once like you. I learned these very same things too, and I was heartily doubtful. However, I gave it a try, and I learned that it works. In fact, the more committed you are to this change of attitude, the greater the rewards you will reap. You see, negative people send out negative signals through written and spoken language and body language. Negative people's attitudes predispose them to failure because that is what they expect will happen and will, thus, unconsciously make decisions that predetermine failure and unhappiness. How you think and how you act. Never mind the superstitious bunk the promoters of The Secret used to make themselves rich and famous. Are picked up on by other people too and will affect not just their perception of you, but how they react to you, whether they want to be around you, and whether their intentions toward you will be positive or negative. This is not to say that if your attitude is always right that no one will ever do bad things. Those people don't just vanish from the world because you've got a smile on your face. But a good attitude will make facing them a lot easier, especially because you are not emotionally overwrought. So I challenge you, take a day to just address everything as an individual event, everything as not being connected to the day overall, and see how that works for you. I started out smaller than that. I used to hate getting up in the morning. I had, people would say good morning to me. I'd say, yeah, it's a morning, or something like that. But one day after learning about this mindset mania thing, I decided, you know what, I'm just really skeptical, but I'm going to give it a try. So I decided that in the morning when I got up, I would be cheerful. I would smile. I would say good morning to everybody. And you know what I found out? It worked surprisingly well. In fact, it worked so well, I didn't want to stop doing it. Because it made my days better. It made me feel better. So please, take the challenge and make your life better. Thanks for watching and have a great day.